winds are whipping outside my bedroom window. I lay in bed, unable to sleep, and just waiting to hear the sirens go off at any minute. I start running through my family's plan of action and thinking about anything else I should grab if we have to take shelter. It's tornado season, and unfortunately, this is not a rare occurrence, but a fairly common memory for my childhood nights. As a girl growing up in Wichita Falls, not only was I living in Tornado Alley, but in the city where one of history's most horrific tornado tragedies occurred. April 10th, 1979, deemed Terrible Tuesday, although years before my birth, lives on in vivid memories of my community. In elementary school, we were educated thoroughly on tornadoes, their dangerous capabilities, and the specifics of that day. I remember watching several documentaries, at first fascinated and then terrified, tornadoes quickly became my number one biggest fear. Today, I'll be talking specifically about characteristics of tornadoes, how they form, and how to be safest when they strike. Let's begin with some basic information about tornadoes. Tornadoes are one of nature's most violent and destructive storms, taking on a variety of characteristics. Their shape, size, and speed are unpredictable with endless possibilities of damage potential. By definition, a tornado is a violently rotating column of air extending from a storm cloud to the earth. There are many shapes, sizes, and types of tornadoes. Twisters can have diameters that range between a few meters to over a kilometer. The tornado that struck my hometown in 79 was more than a mile wide. Their wind speeds are typically less than 100 miles per hour but in extreme cases, some may surpass 300 miles per hour. A few of the different types of tornadoes include supercells, dust devils, and water spouts. Tornadoes can occur anywhere in the world, but most frequently, they strike in an area known as Tornado Alley, a region of the United States that includes eastern South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, North Texas, and eastern Colorado. U.S. tornadoes cause approximately 80 deaths a year and over 1,500 injuries, according to the National Geographic. No matter where they strike, their damage potential is extremely great. All types, shapes, and sizes of tornadoes are serious and have the potential to be very dangerous and damaging. So, how do these terrible forces of nature form and occur? Tornado formation requires a certain weather environment conducive for storms and twisters. I will now begin to explain the specific weather conditions and process of formation. Conducive weather for tornadoes is abundant low-level moisture combined with a cold front or a low-level zone of converging winds. The actual tornado forms when changes in wind speed and direction occur. This creates a horizontal spinning effect in a storm cell. The effect is then tipped vertically as the moist air rises and the twister formation is born. Because of these meteorological factors, tornadoes are more likely at some times than others. For example, they tend to occur more in the late afternoon and are more prevalent in the spring and in the summer months. But keep in mind that they can happen at any time of day or any time of the year. As long as this type of weather is present, tornadoes have the capability to form. That's why it's vital to be educated and prepared at all times in case of a sudden strike. There are many ways to prepare and be safe for tornado emergencies. I will now share some important safety tips from the Weather Channel company for before, during, and after a tornado. Before a tornado, it's important to know and understand the siren warning signals if a system in your area exists. There are often different sounds or repetitions of siren signals that take on different meanings. It is also important to always stay alert by weather professionals during any type of storm. Understand when they describe tornado watches versus tornado warnings. A watch means weather is either conducive for a twister formation, and a warning means an actual tornado has been spotted or indicated on the radar and is occurring. Before a tornado comes, it is also important to have formulated an action plan. Determine the safest place in your home, an internal closet, hall, or room on the first floor or basement, far from windows. When a tornado strikes, the most important thing is to seek shelter. Get inside quickly, if at all possible. Basically, the most important thing to remember is to find the lowest level area, lay down, and cover your head with your hands, like this. Continue staying alert with a portable radio, and after the storm, you need to be sure that it is actually passed. 
Tornadoes can last anywhere from a few minutes to over an hour, so be sure and wait for the official all clear from the weather services. Beware of hazards while coming out of shelter and during cleanup. It is also a good idea to help in the cleanup to aid psychological recovery as well. Tornado emergency safety is very important. Make sure you know how to prepare and react before, during, and after the storm. Safety is only one of the components of tornado education, however. Even if you don't live in Tornado Alley, it is important to know about these dangerous storms that can occur anywhere at any time. Remember that they are violent and can form quickly, causing a plethora of damage. Be aware and be safe, prepared, and ready to take action if one strikes. Fortunately, I have not experienced an extreme tornado like the one in 79, and I hope that I never will have to.